So brass and stainless steel are very different alloys, but both can be used as wire mesh. So which one makes sense for my operation? Well, stick around and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Hey there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar and stainless steel is by far one of the most widely used alloys in the wire mesh industry. It offers a balance between performance and affordability that most filtration screening operations need. But sometimes stainless steel isn't necessarily the answer. It's for this reason you should know how stainless steel compares to other popular alloys, like brass. And WS Tyler has been in the wire mesh business for over 150 years and strives to help customers like you design wire mesh solutions that bring value. So to help you with that, we'll go over how brass is defined in the wire mesh industry, the benefits of using brass wire mesh, how stainless steel is defined in the wire mesh industry, and what alloy makes sense for your specific needs. Classified as a copper alloy, brass is a wire mesh alloy known for its copper and zinc composition. As brass is classified based on its copper to zinc content ratio, it should be noted that WS Tyler uses a specialized brass content of 85% copper and 15% zinc when weaving wire mesh. This particular brass composition allows wire mesh to combat rusting. When wire mesh first gained traction as universal screening and filtration media, it was vastly cheaper than stainless steel. But as time passed, brass wire mesh pricing began to exceed stainless steel and is currently more expensive. That said, there's still beneficial qualities that, if used correctly, can outweigh the cost drawbacks. Brass is a softer material, making it easier to form. When working with fabricated wire mesh components, this can prove increasingly beneficial as the part of the design becomes more complex. Also, brass has significant resistance to corrosion. By being made from copper and zinc, brass can withstand the corrosive effects of oxidization. And one of the more unique qualities of brass is its ability to kill certain bacteria when they come into contact with the surface of the alloy. There are specific ions from the copper that grants these capabilities, which can stand out when an application demands sanitary materials to be used. Stainless steel is a metal alloy defined by the amount of carbon in its composition. It also contains chromium, which is added manually as it does not exist in steel naturally. This is done when the steel is in a molten state to ensure the chromium is bonded on a molecular level. Stainless steel is one of the most widely used alloys to weave wire mesh, and you'll generally see woven wire mesh come in the form of 300 series or 400 series stainless steel. Having chromium part of its composition makes stainless steel significantly resistant to corrosion. And this is especially true when exposed to alkaline and acidic environments in industry settings. The presence of chromium also gives stainless steel the ability to perform under a tremendous heat. Chromium helps to resist oxidization that often occurs when subjected to high heat applications. And above all, the durability of stainless steel is one of the driving factors as to why it's widely used today. This means no matter if your application subjects the mesh to high impact packs, uh, variating temperatures, or whatever else, the mesh profile will remain preserved longer than any other materials, like brass. When designing your wire mesh, the alloy you use should be based on what best accommodates the needs of your operation. Since brass is much softer than stainless steel, it will more than likely deteriorate quicker. This means if you're screening or filtering coarse or abrasive materials, stainless steel may be the better option. But if your industry calls for a specific level of sanitization, however, then the bacteria killing properties of brass may be better suited for your process. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.